I just recorded something and now it's all gone because I didn't actually press record. <laughs> I'm super new to this. My office is a mess. I should have rethought this. I just did it again. Cookie soda pain. Hey guys, I just wanted to pop in and say hello. If you don't know, my name is Ricky. I've never actually put myself on this channel, so this is the first time. But if you'd like me to start doing this more, let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, I'm super nervous. I don't know where I'm looking on camera. I wanna say if you are interested in life updates, personal updates, um, just general using my phone camera more and less just time lapses if you have any video ideas something you'd like to see from me tutorials etc uh please leave a comment down below i also wanted to say to make sure uh, you subscribe for weekly videos i'm officially making my own videos now which is pretty crazy for me um i needed to let go of my editor who was amazing but um as i'm getting braces on next month i wanted to cut down on some expenses and this is one of them so whatever you want to see whatever you want to discuss just type type it down in the comments below in today's video we are going to be talking about what i like to do when i'm in the middle of an art block i know this is a question a lot of you guys have had um i just see in general everywhere all the time and it's a really fair question and i thought it would be a good topic to get into today so on that note, let's get into my five tips for dealing with art block. My very first tip and one that's extremely important to me is do not be afraid to restart. Even though you've exhausted yourself on this drawing, it's okay to put it away and come back to it and restart. You don't have to continue it. And that's something that you will actually see in this piece here, which is why I've decided to use it. I truly believe it's really important to get yourself into the right headspace and sometimes not force yourself to continue. You can clearly see in the beginning that my creation is incredibly different from when I redo it because I took a moment and actually started working on something else before I came back to this and ended up becoming one of my favorite pieces I've ever done. My second tip is actually to go and take part in draw this in your style challenges or redraw some screen caps. Something where the original piece isn't yours, but it's still a lot of fun. There's a base for what you're doing and it allows your creativity to kind of flow but not work too hard. And I've always felt that that helps me get out of an art block, which is actually why I did this piece, which is a Sailor Moon screen cap. My third tip, and honestly one of the most important ones, is to take a break. It is okay to not do art for a day. I know um, for some of us it can be super hard, you know, you always want to be creating, working on your next big piece, but it's okay to go out and see friends or family or just do something by yourself, go grab a coffee. Sometimes you just need to take a break from art to get back into it. Take the time to remember other things that you love in your life and take the time to just rest, sit in bed all day, watch some Netflix, you deserve it. My fourth tip actually comes back around kind of to this video. Um, one of the things that I did, especially when I was first learning to draw, was watch time lapses. I couldn't really sit there and watch hours of an artist drawing, so I'd watch it really, really fast and I found it really got my motivation and my passion going and I was ready to draw again. So check out other artists, check out Instagram, check out YouTube. There's so many different ways that you can see. There's some amazing artists that have some great time lapses. Um, one of my favorites to check out online to motivate me is actually Hey Mary Jean. If you haven't heard of her, she's kind of amazing. So please be sure to check her out. I hope she inspires you as much as she inspires me. My last and final and fifth tip actually kind of goes back to the first one and it's simply don't get stuck on a piece. Move between pieces. You can always go back if you decide to, whether you decide to restart, like I said in the first one, or if you simply decide to go from where you were, it can really, really help to get some fresh set of eyes on your artwork. If you don't have to, don't drive yourself crazy over a piece. By the time you come back to it, maybe you've even improved. Maybe you've learned some new things, but just don't get stuck because that is what will drown you in art block sometimes. I've definitely found that with me. If I am fretting going back to a piece because I just can't get it, it totally ruins the fun. And art should always be fun. 
even if you're working on a commission or you're doing freelance work, try and find the fun in a piece. Your commissioner will always appreciate it more when they can tell that you enjoyed this piece and you put your best work into it. And my final thing that I'm going to say, or should I say ask, is do you have any tips? What do you do when you're art blocked? Did I miss anything? I'd love to know. Maybe I'll make a new video at some point, but everyone has their own thing and these are my five. I hope you enjoyed. I hope I helped. I hope I inspired and I hope you enjoy the rest of the time lapse. Bye.